hello friends welcome back to my channel so today we are going to see a tutorial where we'll be installing jfrog artifactory on sendos machine so to give you an information if you don't know what is Art artifactory so artifactory is a binary repository management system from jfrog this is mainly used to manage or store our artifacts which is generated as part of our software development process and you can use those artifacts uh, into your uh, development process so we can integrate with Jenkins so when you do a build you can store the war file or jar file into artifactory and you can call them into deployment so those kind of process you can use it uh, the artifactory for that so in this tutorial what we are going to do is we will go through the step-by-step -step process or the instruction uh, to how to install artifactory so we'll download the uh, file from the artifactory website then we will extract it we will start the process you know we will set the home path so all those things we will see and we will at the end we will see how to create a repository and upload the artifact into artifactory system okay so before i start i would uh, request you to subscribe to my channel uh, like the video share and comment so I'm going to use a, a CentOS machine for this uh, installation. So if you are using a different Ubuntu or something, the process will change. So this uh, tutorial is for a CentOS machine. Okay. Before we do the installation, let me go to the Artifactory documentation page. So it has given the instructions on how to install it. So we need to download the Artifactory source file. So you have different versions of Artifactory like uh, Pro, Enterprise, Open Source, uh, Community Edition. So we'll be using the Artifact Community Editions for this installation. Okay, so there is a complete documentation. And uh, if you go to the system requirement, you can read through, you know, or depending upon which platform you're using, you can read through uh, those things. Okay, so let's uh, get started. Okay. So the first thing is we have to download the artifactory file so depending upon the operating system you have to select uh, uh, which file you have to download okay for me it's uh, uh, linux so i'll be using the tar.gz file okay so we have to use wget and we have to download this file okay so i don't have this wget installed on this centos because it's a new centos machine so let me install wget first so we'll wait for the installation of wget to be completed then we will uh, download the file okay so wget installation is completed so let me download the artifact resource file again so this is you know will take time depending upon uh, what is your internet speed? So it has to download uh, some MPO file uh, to your uh, CentOS machine. So we'll wait for this download to be completed, then we will move to the next process. Okay. So you don't have to worry uh, about uh, these commands. I have given all the commands in the video description. So you can just expand the video description and you can copy the commands from there and you can uh, paste it into your uh, command line window. So it's not uh, hard. You have to keep reading from the uh, video and write it. Okay. So and I have also given the, all the reference link in the video description. So we are uh, almost uh, 80 percentage now. So we have uh, 20 more percentage to be completed. So we'll wait. Okay, great. So the download is completed. Let me clear out the screen. So if I uh, list, you can see this is the download file. So before I extract it, let me create a folder in the name of jfrog. Okay? And let me move this file into the folder jfrog okay okay so let me go inside jfrog 
and we have this uh, file so now let me extract uh, this uh, source file okay so before extracting let me do one more thing uh, let me this is this will be the source location of your artifactory right so i want to set this as the home path for jfrog so let me do that first so i will use export command and it's going to be jfrog underscore home which will be equal to uh, this is the location okay the current folder okay so let me do that okay so that is done now uh, let me extract it so i'm going to use uh, tar hanzim okay so this will be the file name So let's wait for uh, the full extraction to be completed. Okay, it's done. Let me clear out the screen. So now you can see I have a folder called artifactory.cpp.ce76. So if you are using a different version of uh, artifactory like Pro or uh, OSS, this name will change because this is CE for Community Edition. So let me rename this folder completely, okay, to just artifactory. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to use move command, okay, and it's going to be artifactory, okay. Okay, so I have a folder as artifactory. I renamed this one. Let me delete this. I don't need the zip file now. Okay, so I will. Uh, delete this one so it's easy for us to see you know the things in this folder okay so we have only just one folder as artifactory so let me go inside that folder and we have other folders like app and war so let me go to app and uh, let me go to bin folder so let me list out what is there in the bin folder so now you see there are a lot of uh, files so we are going to use this file artifactory.ctl to start the foreground process of artifactory okay so we are going to call artifactory ctl start so this will start the artifactory instance so we have to wait for this to be completed so let's wait can see the whole uh, data we can see what is happening so now if you see the tomcat is started right now if you want to check the status of uh, artifactory you can use the same ctl and uh, can use the command check now if you see it's saying uh, artifactory is running on the pid right so uh, our, our artifactory instance is running so now we can access uh, the artifactory from a web uh, portal okay so let's uh, do that so before i go to the web portal i let me just check the ip address of this machine so it's going to be 192.168.145.131 so let me copy this okay and uh, the port number of artifactory is going to be 8081 okay so let me run that So actually there are two ports one is the artifactory instance port but uh, this will reroute to the 8082 which is the ui uh, port okay so, but we can run with 8081 so let's see how what we get okay so we are getting this message most probably because this port 8081 is uh, blocked uh, in the firewall in the sendos machine okay so let me uh, add the 8081 and 8082 into the firewall exception so I'm going to run this command sudo firewall cmd permanent uh, zone public add port 8081 to the firewall exception okay so once this is done I will also add 8082 okay this is success let me add 8082 as well
okay so that is also success so let me now re uh, refresh the firewall so i'm going to reload it so i'm going to run this command so again you know i have given all these commands in the video description so you can uh, refer it to the video description okay. okay so that is great so let me go back to the page now if you see that you know the artifact tree is getting ready so that means it's now it's getting uh, connected so we will wait okay okay so that uh, configuration is completed now we can see we are in the jfrog uh, home page so this is the initial login page now if you see the port is changed to 8082 ui login right so it's using the 8082 for the UI path UI for uh, artifactory. Okay, so initial username is going to be admin and the password is going to be password. Okay, so type the username as admin and the password as uh, password. Okay, and you can click on login. So you can uh, click on get started. It will ask you to reset or set a new password. So you can set a new password. And click next so I'm not going to give any base URL because you know we don't I'm not going to open this for everyone and we don't have any DNS kind of things for this tutorial so I'm just going to have a local repositories okay so I'm going to skip this screen and I'm also going to skip the proxy because I don't have any proxy set up and uh, repositories if since we are using a community edition you can uh, have two kind of repository one is the generic and another one is conan so i'm i'm going to skip this session or you can select the generic again here so i'm going to skip this okay and uh, let's click on finish so we are uh, done with uh, you know, the initial setup of artifactory so now we can see we are inside the artifactory login page and i'm logged in with uh, uh, admin and you have options like quick setup local repositories new remote repositories right virtual repositories you can create new user groups so all those uh, configuration you can see on the right side you have uh, one for application and another one for administration so in a uh, appli uh, application side you will be able to see any packages builds or artifacts which you have already uploaded so now we don't have anything because this is an example repo okay and uh, if there is a distribution pipelines security compliance all those things you can do it from uh, the application in the administration section you can uh, see repositories okay uh, where you will be able to see what are the repositories available so uh, those information you can see you can create users uh, groups uh, you can set permissions you can uh, do ldap configurations so those kind of uh, things you can do it from the administration side okay so the first thing what we are going to do is I'm going to create a new local repository. Okay. So I'm going to use uh, the generic okay. and the repository name I'm going to give as uh, test. Okay. So it's going to be a test repository. So you can uh, uh, give any name which you want. Then uh, click on save and finish. So the repository is uh, created successfully. So now we can see we have a test repository here. So if you want to add another repository, you can uh, go back again and you can add a, a new test repository and you can click on save and finish. So this may take some time depending on you know, how much time it's going to create the repository. Okay. Okay. So the new test repository is also created. If you see, you can uh, let me increase the font size a little bit. Okay. So you can see there is a new test repository here as well. Okay, right. So uh, all the repositories are created. Okay. Now how you can uh, add uh, some file uh, to the repository. So you go back to the administration. If you scroll down, you have something called artifactory on the bottom. So you click here, you get uh, more options here. You have uh, settings, right? You can set uh, some settings like how much is the maximum upload size. So those kind of uh, settings you can set okay and uh, there are other settings you can do you have a section called import and export right so there is where we can do the repository selection and you can 
do whether you want to export or you want to import or you know you want to import from a zip so i'm going to do i'm going to import from a zip okay okay so i have uh, some files uh, in here so i go on to browse and i'm going to use the jenkins war file let me click on open so it's going to uh, use those uh, file to the repository okay let's click on upload so uh, it is going to upload that file into the uh, repository okay okay so i think there is some error with this archive file but let me okay because this is a zip file which we are doing so that's why it's giving the error okay let me use a zip file rather than using var file okay so i have a mongodb zip so let me use that let me upload that okay because the var file you cannot do it from here because it's a repository from zip okay so again we have some problem uh, it's the uh, file size is more than 100 mb so maybe we have to edit that so let me set this to some 200 mp something okay okay now if you see that file size is set to 200 mp so i think this time we should be able to uh, upload the zip because the file size is more than uh, 100 mp in the previous case okay so that's something which you we have learned now right because if there is a restriction on how much you can upload you can go there and check that setting okay okay so now you we have a button called import which is uh, highlighted now so let's click on import okay okay so the import is completed so once again like uh, if you go to repository so we have used uh, the import from zip so you have to select the repository name then you select the zip okay but if you have some var file or something you can uh, browse through here since uh, you know the var file you know it's not in my sendos machine i cannot do it because uh, uh, since our uh, uh, since artifactory is running on a sendos uh, you have to have that file inside there or other option is we can uh, use uh, some git or uh, other repository and we can do that okay so now if you get, go back to the application side and uh, artifactory go to artifact section okay the so where you'll see all the repositories so we have uploaded the mongodb into the new test so you can see all the files are listed here so you see you can see that uh, this is how we can make use of artifactory to store your artifacts so uh, it's you know mainly used when we have the ci cd pipeline we will integrate artifactory into our pipeline job so once the end of our build there will be you know a some var file or some uh, you know binary file which is getting converted as part of uh, our process so that we can store into the artifactory and then we can use that a binary file and we can upload it into the our server or docker instance to do a you know, deployment so that is the basic purpose of artifactory we will doing uh, in the upcoming tutorials okay so in this tutorial we did it uh, the artifactory instance as a sendos uh, normal setup manual installation uh, we will also see how we can set up artifactory as a docker container okay so in the upcoming tutorial so i hope uh, this tutorial is uh, informative for you and i thank you for watching kindly subscribe to my channel so it's a request again like the video share and comment